Hi and welcome to this video in which we're going to look uh, very briefly at the updated uh, plugins which are included with Cubase 9. First of which is the compressor. Now the compressor really has just had a visual makeover so as we will see here, here is the new compressor and then on the right you will see what the old compressor used to look like. It's the same compressor so it's got all the same features they're just in a different place. Uh, certainly improved visually one slightly strange thing is this threshold fader because it, it seems natural to me that that would be to do with levels such as makeup gain etc uh, but that's the threshold level so we can see here when in operation it works well the metering is better than it used to be because we're seeing the reduction in output as we go as well as the gain so we're seeing reduction in peak output etc um, all the controls are as you would expect it works with sidechain as you would expect etc so there's nothing particularly new about that and if you know the presets from back in the day they're, they're still the same presets so you've got all the same things um, on there as you would expect and they load up in exactly the same way so I'm pretty sure if you've got presets that you've saved with the old compressor they will work with the new one everything's the same um, similar story with the gate okay so if we look at the gate you'll see it's it's changed it looks looks better obviously um again better metering um a big silver knob in the middle for the threshold the side chain section is now hidden down the bottom so you can turn that on and off so if side chain's not on yeah you won't get that light but you can always see it and we've got same thing slightly better explanation of the filter and it's it's a little less cramped but again if you compare it with the uh, earlier version of the gate you can see that it's, it's taken up a lot more on your screen but again I think it's worth it. it's not the kind of plugin you're gonna have uh, open all the time and while you're working in it it's nice to have nice clean mix uh, metering etc and seeing the state control or LED rather in there working is quite good it, it's it's a little clearer than it used to be and the metering obviously is much better so that's that's fairly worthwhile um, in terms of truly updated plugins there is one so uh, this one while it's had a makeover again as you can see there's more to it than that it's got a new mode so previously it was in what is now referred to as classic mode uh, but it's also got modern mode which gives it much more of a chance of uh, let's just turn those two off so we've got uh, recover and release uh, and obviously the optimization control so we can go insanely heavy with that but you need to as with all these plugins you need to uh, drive carefully and spend some time with it but certainly you get much more uh, upfront results with the modern mode than you do with with classic with supposedly the same settings as you can just see straight away on there regardless of anything else so it's it, um, it's a better plug-in I'm not sure it would uh, necessarily replace everything in my current mastering chain but then again it's included with Cubase and it's not something that sells separately for you know 200 quid etc so it's certainly a useful and worthwhile uh, addition Finally, let's look at an old favourite, Autopan. Yes, so Autopan's got a bit of a makeover. Now, I, I, I've always found Autopan plugins to actually be really useful. They're sort of useful workhorses that do save you a lot of job with, you know, work with uh, automating things manually. Um, and I don't know that they get the, uh, the sort of uh, respect they deserve but this this is nice because it's got some interesting things so we've got different uh, waveforms and the ability obviously to draw them in which is nice another really nice thing which I wish all all Steinberg's plugins had is the factor okay so when you've got it synced here you can sync it to half notes or whatever you can multiply that here which is really useful okay so if we we'll just mute the audio because we don't want to necessarily hear it particularly because our tempo is okay so now it's taking five half notes we can take up to ten half notes to do that etc so we've got much more 
scope for coming up with some interesting things rather than just sticking to straight uh, beat and bar divisions. So with a combination of that and obviously some randomization that you can apply and you can program in your own things, I think while it's say it's you know it's not a plugin that's going to uh, make anybody you know win the greatest producer award or anything like that, but it's kind of workhorse which which does a great job. And particularly now, you can do some much more interesting things with it because you can program it so much more flexibly just by virtue of being able to do this and having that factor in there. Controlling phase as well, really useful because then if you want it in a particular point at a particular bar and you want it there, rather than having to reprogram everything, you can control that. And of course, you can automate these controls as well, which will give you all sorts of possibilities. So again, it's it's not you know the the plugin to write home about but it's the kind of thing that's going to save you loads and loads of time and allow you to come up with much more creative things so there's the updated plugins in cubase 9 if you've enjoyed these videos and found them useful then subscribe by clicking on the mtt logo in the bottom of the screen now also visit musictechtuition.com for tips tricks and advice as well as information about the books i've written the complete guide to music technology using cubase 9 and Music Tech A level using Cubase 9. These are a great resource whether you're just getting started or you've been working for a few years now. The information in them will allow you to take your sequencing, recording and production to the next level and give you a well-rounded grounding in all areas of music technology.